remarkable story. Uh, this this study that was just published by um, a nonprofit uh, group it's called Fair Health um, that uh, they they looked at get the details here for uh, almost uh, this this they they looked at health insurance claims from 1.96 million Americans. This is the largest population with COVID that has ever been studied. 1.96 million Americans from February 2020 to February 2021. And what they found was, because a lot of people got diagnosed with COVID who had no symptoms or had very, very mild symptoms. But this was asymptomatic people, people without symptoms. What they find, I'll just, this is from the AFP, you know, Agence France Press. Uh, Dateline Washington, almost a fifth of COVID patients, in fact, that's the, the headline, a fifth of asymptomatic COVID patients develop long COVID. Almost a fifth of COVID patients without symptoms went on to experience conditions consistent with long COVID a month after their initial, uh, initial diagnosis. This study was published yesterday. Even as the COVID-19 pandemic wanes, they say long haul COVID persists as a public health issue affecting many Americans. This, by the way, is whacking people in terms of their ability to pay for it because a lot of insurance companies, you get thousands of dollars in deductibles and co-pays and everything else. People are just getting killed by this. The study found that across all ages, in fact, a quarter of such cases occurred between, uh, among people between 19 and 29 years old. The study found that across all ages, the most common post-viral conditions were, and these are people who didn't have a severe case of COVID, were pain, breathing difficulties, high cholesterol, general discomfort and fatigue, and high blood pressure. The odds of dying 30 days after initially being diagnosed with COVID were 46 times higher for patients who had been hospitalized and discharged. Among the four mental health conditions evaluated after 30 days, anxiety was the most common, followed by depression, adjustment disorders, and tick disorders. It's TIC, that's where you twitch. Theories include persistent immune activation as a consequence of the initial virus infection, or damage to nerve pathways that is slow to heal, or the persistence of low levels of the virus. This is grim stuff you want to be vaccinated and and you want to be careful until you know that you are fully vaccinated or you get the kind of situation that uh royal caribbean just discovered they vaccinated the entire crew uh, for their maiden voyage of, of one of their new ships and uh all 1400 member crew members they were vaccinated june 4th which means that they will be fully vaccinated day after tomorrow, right, two weeks out. So they had vaccinated them, they got them together, they put them on the ship, and eight of them yesterday tested positive for COVID. Two of them actually had symptoms because they hadn't waited the full two weeks after the vaccination. I mean, once you're vaccinated, it is still possible to get COVID. Odds are you won't even know you have it. And it won't turn into the long COVID that I was just describing because that seems to be the result of the severity of the initial infection. But man, this is nasty stuff. And, and, and now we're living with this legacy. You've got you know, more than a million Americans who are gonna have sky high medical bills for, for the rest of their lives, perhaps. An insurance industry that isn't inclined to pay for them. It's just, it just, it just goes on and on.